Finally, there it is. The 1980s Student Council mod is finally ready. And this video is entirely about it. So, without further ado, let's get into it. There are now four new tasks in the game. Let's start with Reiji. Reiji is convinced that some students at Akademi are causing trouble. To complete his task, you'll need to actively look for any troublemakers at school. Every day until Reiji's task is completed, five students will be randomly chosen. These students will stand out of the rest of the school's population by changing their routines. I won't spoil every routines, but I will say this, two students will change their routine before class, two more at lunchtime, and one more during cleaning time. If you think a student is a troublemaker, you can approach them and confront them. Be warned though, if the student you're accusing wasn't planning to do anything bad, they will respond very negatively and you will receive a reputation loss. So now you may be wondering, how do I know if a student is an actual troublemaker? The answer is simple. You have to stalk them. If you see them expressing strange behavior, you'll know this student is the person you're looking for. You can then confront them. Once they admitted they were indeed about to do, or, did something wrong, you can complete Reiji's task. I feel really proud of this task. I can't wait to hear what you guys think about it too. Next, we have Rase, his task is a bit complex too, and I'm also really proud of it. You'll understand why in a few moments. First, here's what happens if you try to ask Rase for a task. Rase does have a problem but doesn't want our help because of our low skills in language. Let's fix that. You won't be able to access his task unless you have raised your language skills up to rank 2 at least. Now that we have the required level in language, let's see what Rase wants our help with. Rase asks to meet up in the English classroom around 4.30 p.m. In addition, I gave the English classroom a completely new look. Yep, you heard me right. Here's what it looks like. It took me a long time to make, so I hope you'll like it as much as I do. Anyways, 
When Rase is waiting, approach him and talk to him to complete his task. That's all for Rase's task, let's continue with Ken's task. Ken's really into video game stuff. He'd love to have the latest video game console released by the Psycho Corp, but cannot afford it. And with good reason, the price is pretty expensive. Once you bought it, you simply have to give it to Ken and complete his task. Now, there's only one task left. Daisaku's. You may know it already, but Daisaku is a former delinquent who caused a lot of trouble at Akademi last year. He's now redeeming himself, but is worried about his former friends. As soon as you accept his task, you'll have to talk to the leader of the male delinquents. Our job now, is to convince Seishiro to stop causing trouble at Akademi. He's also asking you to bring him a knife, there's a specific reason for this, so this is a criteria you need to meet. If you try to talk to him without a knife, a pop-up notification will appear on the top of the screen. Now, if you do have a knife in your inventory, here's what happens when you talk to him. This task also took me a long time to create but I think it was worth it. I really like the result. After that little fight, you will be able to complete Daisaku's task. Also, the delinquents won't push you away anymore since you defeated the leader. You have now completed each student council member's task, congrats. However, you won't be able to join the council just yet. There are other criteria you need to meet. 
And that's the next subject of this video. If Ryoga wants to join the council, she shall do more than just befriending the members of the council. Here's all you the criteria you need to meet in order for you to be able to join the student council. You have befriended each member of the student council. You have a high reputation. You have all of your stats to level 1 at least. You have never been late to class. You have never had a bad reputation. You have never been sent to the guidance counselor. If you meet all of these criteria, you'll then be able to talk to Reichi and join the student council. And there you go, you're now an official member of the student council. Warning, don't forget to attend every meeting. In particular, the one that will occur the day you joined. I noticed that many players were confused when they were getting ejected from the council, because they didn't attend a meeting. Hence I'm saying it now. As before, Ryoba will get her student council uniform the day right after she joined. And yes, this time I didn't forget to add the armband to Ryoba's arm. It's a detail that was definitely bothering you guys in the previous version of the mod. Ryoba will start the day in the student council room just like the other members. There's even a little cutscene that'll play, but I'll talk about this later in the video. Right now, you can notice that the student council members don't push you away anymore. They also don't react to your footsteps. The student council will demand you to attend mandatory daily club meetings. Going a single day without attending a meeting will result in being ejected from the student council. Additionally, any of the following criteria will also result in being ejected from the student council. Being sent to the guidance counselor for any reason, being more than 30 minutes late to class, developing a negative reputation, or failing five council activities. By the way, if you unfortunately encounter a bug while playing that prevents you from joining the student council, I've added two new debug commands, just in case. One to automatically join the student council, and another one to automatically meet all of the required criteria. Hopefully, this will prevent anyone from being unable to join the student council. Being a student council member will grant you super cool benefits. Most benefits are the same as the ones in the previous version of the mod, but some are new. First, you'll be able to command any student into doing favors for you without having to befriend them first. Students will let their guard down around you. You'll never get in trouble for trespassing. You'll be allowed to be 30 minutes late to class. Ryoba will just pretend she had important student council business to attend to. You will unlock a garot. In the previous version of the mod, you were only able to attack female students. I said that I'd like to create a custom animation for male students, I did try, but in the end, I scrapped it because the results were... well. Though, I still made it possible for Ryoba to kill both male and female with the garot, but the body of male students will deform. I doubt there will be any future update regarding the student council mod, so yeah, this is how it is going to work.
you will get a full access to the supply shed in the gardening club and to the cabinet in the infirmary, which contains sedative. The biggest complaint I've seen about the student council mod, is that the mod lacked a pepper spray. Many people feel like Ayano, or Ryoba, should be carrying a pepper spray like the rest of the student council. But neither Ayano nor Ryoba carries a pepper spray. I'll explain why. Making the pepper spray a new weapon didn't really make sense to me. Simply because you can't kill someone with a pepper spray. That's why I didn't include a pepper spray in the first version of the mod. I've also seen people saying that instead of using a pepper spray to kill someone, you could use it to blind someone for a few moments. It was interesting but doesn't make any sense either. The person you choose to pepper spray will obviously see who you are. So if you don't kill that person, they will just report you to the police or the faculty. That's a game over. So what about using the pepper spray to knock out a student, and then carry them into the kidnapping room to kidnap them. Again, that just doesn't make any sense. First, a pepper spray doesn't really knock yourself out. It blinds you for a moment, making you vulnerable. Plus, you can only kidnap female students at this point in time. Any other suggestion I've seen were making the pepper spray overpowered. So, as you can see, in many ways, the pepper spray was problematic. However, because you guys seem to really, really want a pepper spray in the mod, I've come up with a compromise. I've decided that Ryoba actually carries a pepper spray, but will only use it if she has no other choice. If a teacher or a student tries to apprehend you, Ryoba will pepper spray them. She will crack their neck right after to kill them though. I know this is probably not what you guys expected, and I'm sincerely sorry about that, but this is all I could do. In the previous version of the mod, the council activities were really looking bad in my opinion. So I tried to correct that in the 80s version. The first noticeable change is that now, the council activities are introduced at the beginning of the day through a little cutscene. I think it's way more realistic. On Monday, your job is to clean up mud puddles near the gymnasium. On Tuesday, you have to fix a water leak in one of Akademi's restroom. On Wednesday, you have to find the keys that the headmaster has lost. The keys will randomly decide their location. On Thursday, you have to reboot the camera system in the announcement room. And finally, on Friday, you have to patrol around each classrooms. Hopefully, you guys will like the new council activities better than the old ones. These new council activities are trivially easy. They're here to give a realistic aspect of being a part of the student council, but also for the people who want to roleplay as a real student council member. Though, failing all of these tasks will get you ejected from the council. By the way, the council activities are the same during the 10 weeks. I tried to make the 80s version of the student council mod look as polished and finished as possible. So obviously, I had to add new features and revamp some aspect of the mod. For instance, there's now some visuals when Ryoba gets ejected from the student council. I really like how it turned out. But actually, that's not all. There is a secret benefit of being a part of the student council that I didn't mention yet. You'll only have the use of this benefit near the end of the game.
being a part of the student council in the 80s will help you a lot in court. Taking all of the facts into consideration, it is clear, beyond any shadow of a doubt, that Ryoba Aishi is innocent of all charges. There is also a new menu in the title screen. If you enter this menu, you'll be able to watch the trailer of the mod, or the video you're watching right now. I've mentioned it before, but there is also a new weapon, animation, tasks, council activities, dialogues, and more. To sum it up, I think that this big update of the student council mod will be the first and last one. Yeah, sadly, I don't think you'll ever see new features related to this mod coming in the future. I think it has reached a state where the mod is so big, that you cannot really add significant features. But don't worry though, I plan to work on many other mods. And actually, the next mod I'll be releasing is a really, really, really complex mod. This will be the biggest mod I've ever worked on. I'm so hyped and I hope you'll look forward to it. I probably won't say anything else about this mod until it's fully released though. Which will, probably be in a bit of time from now. Also, I wanted you to know that I tried to make the mod as perfect as possible to celebrate the 10k people who are subscribed to this channel. I really can't believe I've made it this far, and it's all thanks to you guys. I think I've covered everything I wanted to say in this video. Thanks for watching, it really warms my heart. If you want the mod, a download link is in the description. Oh, and I promise I'll try to provide you with a Mediafire link this time, haha. <laughs> By the way, if you encounter a bug, please report it to me on Discord. My Discord is also in the description.